Marvel is back in the theaters, y'all. Black Widow. It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Club CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, the place where we talk about movies, television, and pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, uh, Black Widow is out, y'all. Uh, it is in theaters and it is on Disney Plus for your enjoyment. Uh, and I saw it, and before I get into what I thought about it, uh, let's break this thing down, shall we? Um, let's see. Black Widow, of course, stars uh, Scarlett Johansson, who we all know from all the Avenger films, uh, going all the way back to even Iron Man 2, when she made her first debut as the character Natasha Romanoff, the assassin, the Russian assassin, uh, who joined S.H.I.E.L.D. And then, what, 10 something years later, uh, we go all the way up to Avengers Endgame, where we witnessed her demise. Now, a lot of people may have questions about how this movie is even possible. Uh, so this is for the casuals, not the real fans, the casuals. Black, Black Widow takes place between two films, Civil War and Infinity War. So in Civil War, the Avengers, they disband, uh, they were on the run because of the Sokovia Accords. Uh, Tony Stark has a, a, a final words with Natasha before she runs off. And then we don't even know what happens to her until we see her with Steve Rogers uh, in Infinity War when they all needed to get back together. Um, so there was a bit of a gap there. Um, a lot of us probably would have just assumed that, you know, she was with Cap the whole time when he got uh, escaped uh, the other Avengers out of prison. But they... Marvel has decided to give us uh, a little bit more, uh, something to chew on uh, when it comes to this character. And the story, so the story follows Natasha's adventures uh, between Civil War and Avengers and uh, Infinity War and what was happening while the Avengers were disbanded. Now, this thing stars, uh, directed by uh, Kate Shortland, who, uh, this is like her first blockbuster, you guys. and. She's known for Smilf from Showtime. Uh, it's a television series that I don't even know if it's still on. Uh, they're they're in a, a few seasons in, but I don't know if uh, Showtime renewed it or anything like that, but you should check out Smilf. It's on uh, Showtime. And she was highly, highly recommended by Scarlett Johansson to do this film, because Scarlett Johansson was also executive producer on this film. Um, stars uh, Scarlett Johansson, uh, David Arbor, uh, Rachel Wise, uh, O.T. Fagbinelli, I think that's how he says his name. I don't want to screw that up. I'm known for screwing up names, but I don't want to screw that name up. Uh, and Florence Pugh, who, um, I, I'm, I'll just throw it out there, MVP, straight out the gate. Um, but what did I think about Black Widow? There are a lot of mixed reviews out there, a lot of mixed reviews. And I am a hardcore Marvel fan, just like a lot of them. Uh, and... I'm going to be real. The only reasons I wanted to see this film were for two. Two reasons. Two sure shot reasons. One, I need my Marvel Cinematic Universe fix. I need the stories to keep coming, keep flowing, keep connecting, keep going. Just, I need that. I don't know why I'm so obsessed, but I'm one of those, those diehard fans that I don't care Really, I mean, I do care what direction you go in, but as long as you're connecting the dots and telling the story and filling in the blanks, I'm a happy camper. So, that was reason number one. Reason number two was for this person here. I am a diehard Taskmaster fan. And Taskmaster is one of the main baddies in this film. Now the reason I love Taskmaster for all you guys, Master, for all you guys out there that don't know who this person is, uh, the abilities that they possess are to mimic the actions of any anyone it faces, and 
I just always thought that that was cool shit. Like, it could literally just be anyone. It could be, you know, anyone that faces him. And you get a bit of that in the trailer if you're really paying attention. Uh, every time they show Taskmaster, he's doing a, uh, uh, or they're doing a, 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 a maneuver from one of the Avengers. They do the Black Panther claws. Uh, they do the Spider-Man flip. Uh, it throws a shield like Cap. So that was always that was like one of the main reasons I wanted to see this uh, this character uh, in live live action. So. Without further ado, what did I think about Black Widow? Um, a lot of people are on the fence with it. They're saying it's not a perfect movie. I think this movie will serve the casuals well. Um, it is full of action, full of emotion. I'm talking like tear-jerking emotion. Uh, it's strongly based around family uh, and the, the origin of Black Widow. I feel like that this thing goes so far back that you're kind of like, well, when is it going to get to, uh, you know, the what was going on during? Because you get a lot of backstory, uh, which is cool, because if you love that character like I do and I love storytelling and I love knowing how we got from point A to point B, um, you're going to get that. There is a lot of backstory with Black Widow in the very beginning. It's also like a cool rendition of uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit in the in the beginning credits that was like dope, dope. Um, the action, I mean, it doesn't get any better than, you know, you know what we've already seen in Marvel. Like, we've seen a bit of Black Widow in Iron Man 2. We've seen her in Avengers 1. We've seen her in Civil War. Uh, we've seen her in uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, she's doing her thing, and everybody else alongside of her is doing their thing. Um, the only things that really, really stood out to me that are worthy of just really bragging about um, is Florence Pugh, of course. Everybody's talking about Florence Pugh. She does her thing in this movie uh, to the point where she will become your favorite. She's very sassy, very... Uh, she, is, she is what Natasha probably would would have been had she not uh, found this family in the Avengers. Uh, she's still a little cold-hearted, so she's got some edge to her. Cool, I'm not gonna lie, cool, much more much more cooler edge than Natasha has in this film. Um, and then the other thing, a lot of people are talking about David Harbour. He's cool, he's fun, but he wasn't my favorite thing. Um, I honestly really enjoyed Taskmaster. Now, let me say 50-50, really, really enjoy Taskmaster. When you get Taskmaster, you get Taskmaster. Like, no holding back. Everything that, if you know this character, you're getting and you're on board immediately. Now, there are some things about this character that I wish never happened uh, in, in, in the sense of like in third act or like the ending of the film. You know, there's always a resolution. Um, I would have much rather the mystery of Taskmaster stay in play. Uh, throughout and that's all I'm gonna say about that I don't I don't I'm not gonna spoil you know what happens or or how I you know if it's good or bad because that's up to opinion but I personally would have much rather they kept the mystery of Taskmaster and not you know kind of reveal anything uh, about this character going going through this film another good thing that stands out in this film I promise you is the post credit scene there are kind of two, but one comes right at the end of the movie, like before the credits, and then the other is at the very end of the credits. So please make sure you stick around for that. Um, it's for the real Marvel fans now. And when I say that, I mean real MCU fans. It's for you guys. So that's like the other standout for me in this film. Other than that, it really just plays as a really solid action filler. Um, was it needed? I'm going to say yes and no. Needed, why? Because this character deserved her roses. Uh, we, we deserve to see um, growth and transition with this character. And, and, you know, just if you love the Avengers, you're going to love Natasha because she's part of the Avengers. I mean, Hawkeye's getting his own show. So if you love Natasha and you love the Avengers, then this is the movie for you. Trust me, it, it's, it's great. It's a great movie. Now, as far as um, catapulting the story forth, it does that. It does that in many ways because you just have to pay attention to dialogue and then you must stick around for the post credit scene. It does catapult storyline uh, forward. Um, and then no because 
it's a little too late. You know what I mean? I mean, we already know the outcome of what happens to this character from Avengers Endgame, and it was kind of a downer, but um, probably could have went without this, but it probably would have been like a, a, a bad taste in the mouth. Like, you know when, when you, you, you don't get that thing that you think you probably want? That's how it would have been. So I'm glad that it happened. I'm glad they got it out the way, and they don't really need to revisit this again. I don't think a, a sequel needs to happen. Uh, it, it, it served its purpose um, in many ways. Uh, there are a lot of... <sighs> if I was going to say there was anything bad about this film, the one thing for me, the one thing, is that it's not grounded enough. Um, part of the reason I like the Black Widow stories, uh, the Hawkeye stories, the Punisher stories, uh, the Daredevil stories is because they're not Avenger level. They are more realistic and something that we as human beings and regular people should be able to relate to. And this movie is on a scale. Like, I will only compare it to this movie based on scale. Scale-wise, Winter Soldier. Um, where, excuse me, it is Avenger level scale. Special effects-wise, action sequences-wise. Um, so it's not very grounded but it's still a solid film and there is storyline in this thing that are very relatable to now today a lot of people may call them such uh, social justice warriors uh coming forth but i think it was a topic that played very well they didn't overdo it or beat you in the head with it which was uh, uh that's a spoiler i don't want to give that away yeah i'm not going to give that away but there just know that the the overall uh, the overall uh, motivation of, let's say, like, the villains uh, is very now, if you're really listening and paying attention to uh, the dialogue and things of that nature. But overall, I really enjoyed the film. It, 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 it fulfilled my Marvel need to go back to the theater. Um, will this be ranked high in my Marvel movies? Um, midway. I'm not going to say it's the best. I'm not going to say it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Um, Scarlett Johansson nails this. She's great in this. I would watch it again. I would pay to watch it again. And I know I will pay to watch it again because I'm a Marvel fan and I enjoy the MCU. So I think that you should definitely, whether at home or in a theater, go check this movie out because, of course, it's Marvel's back. Marvel is back. Um, and I will leave you with this one, 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 word of advice before going in to watch this movie make sure you are caught up on the falcon in the winter soldier and that's all i'm gonna say and then like comment share and subscribe let me know if you guys are excited about black widow if you're going to see black widow what your expectations are if you have any non-spoiler questions please feel free to drop them down and for more movie news television news and my podcast critics talk make sure you guys check out wearecritics.com and i will talk to you all later peace